The galactic community has been established for eons. For so long that the vast majority of races have lost account of where their homeworld is. My race, the Kalani, were one of these. We were a proud warrior race with a vast territory bestowed onto us by the Holy Father Hikino via our divine providence for glory and conquest. For thousands of years, the Holy Light of Hikino smiled upon our warriors as we laid claim to and conquered system after system, striking down entire empires as we saw fit. This is life in the scene of the Galactic Core. Civilizations have been clashing and borders shifting back and forth for longer than any one race can trace back their records. None of these records can even make account of the last time that a sentient species was encountered among the stars for the first time. It is well established by the academics of every spacefaring civilization that all races with the capacity to become spacefaring in the galaxy have done so, and that those races emerge somewhere in the galactic core. The outer realms of the galaxy are nothing but a backwater, areas absent of intelligent life and of little material use. At least, so we thought. Then one day, after making a significant improvement of our FTL technology, my race found itself in need of a rare elemental resource in order to deploy this new technology on the grand scale within our fleets. So we set about delving through the records of our systems and their resource surveys to see where we could set up mining operations and refinement installations. Nothing came up. So we searched through the survey records of worlds belonging to other civilizations in the Galactic Core. We grew excited for the opportunity of another glorious crusade, but still nothing. So we turned our attention to the outer areas of the galaxy, sending out long-range survey scans from our capital world. And we found just the planet we needed, rich in this new elemental resource. A small red planet, fourth in orbitable succession of its yellow stable local star. Hoping to discover more opportunities to collect the element, we scanned the other planets in the system. Then something peculiar happened, upon scanning the third planet in the system. Something detected our survey scan pulse, and sent a signal back. After some long-range communication back and forth over the next few decades, we realised that this Earth and the bipedal humans that inhabited it were barely to be considered intelligent. Their pitiful civilization had only managed to colonise several planets and moons in their home system, and those of the two closest star systems. Pathetic. The labels of intelligent and space herring were a compliment to such lowly beings. So we sent a final communication informing the humans that we were coming. A divine crusade with the blessings of Holy Hakino to drive the force behind our claws would be wrought upon them. We sent a small advance force to the Sol system to glass this Earth. That was all that would surely be needed to smite down these humans and make them surrender and throw themselves at the mercy of Hakino to have the honour of serving as our slaves. And indeed, that was how easy it was. The advance force arrived and the events that followed were without anomaly, save for the fact that they noticed that Earth had one moon, not two, as our early scans had indicated. They decided that was simply an error in the system scans. They should have looked into the matter further. Our glorious warriors had no challenge in rending the Earth's defensive fleet from the stars. They glassed the planet with the holy ref of Hakino himself and returned to us triumphant. An occupying force was sent back out with a mining convoy to accept the assured surrender of humanity and to set up our mining operations on the little red planet, but... When the fleet entered the solar system, they were met with a new human fleet. Their numbers and weapons dwarfed that of the original advance force. In an instant, our ships were swatted out of existence. We should have known better. We should have studied these humans more. We should have known what wrath could be stirred up when a species' home planet was destroyed. What righteous and terrifying wrath. We prepared ourselves for yet another war to pile onto the archives. What glory we would gain in the eyes of Hakino for slaying yet another inferior empire. We readied ships and soldiers, expecting a grand series of battles taking place across scores of systems. How little we understood. I can still recall it vividly to this day. I was standing at my console on the bridge of my fleet's flagship in orbit of the Kalani capital world. We had been running simulations to prepare for the coming battles with the humans. All of a sudden, the ship's sensors set off alarms signifying an incoming enemy vessel in FDL. 
I barked to my technical officer to give me a report of the readout. I don't understand, sir, he said. What is it, crewman? Tell me now, I commanded. These readings? It can't be a ship, sir. It's the size of a planetoid, he responded, quivering. I pushed the crewman away from his console. You shame yourself before Hakino. How is it that you came to become a technical officer if you can't even read a scanner report correctly? I yelled. Then I read the reader for myself. It... it was accurate, and would drop out of FTO in three seconds. I looked up on the console and out the windows of the bridge to see a leviathan of a battleship drop out of FTL, with a force so immense that the quantum backdraft alone sent out a wave of energy that disabled every vessel in the fleet in an instant. It was larger than our own planet's moon. The quantum backdraft that even our largest Dreadnought-class vessels released from FTL was only enough to induce mild interference on comms networks. In a terrifying moment of sheer power, the Leviathan sent out a single message before it fired its main weapon, and turned our glorious capital world into nothing but a few boulders and dust. For Earth. The next few months would spell the end of our dominion. As much as we could prepare our battle lines, shield our ships, and reinforce our planets with defences, the outcome was the same. The Leviathan Moon jumped to every world in our borders, disabling entire fleets just by appearing from FTL, and erased the planet from the cosmos. The Earth did have two moons after all, but as it turns out, one of them was a vessel of unimaginable scale. One of them was constructed by an insane species that had feared what would come of them from the stars, just as much as they yearned to venture out into them. Once a proud and mighty fleet commander, of the Kalani reduced to a wandering refugee. I now send this message to every empire in the Galactic Core. Be afraid of what horrors lie in wait in your galactic backyards. And do not piss off the humans, or they will build a metal planet and throw it at you. <laughs>